sorry I've been MIA for so long. Six weeks ago, just after I filmed my smoky eye tutorial, I was rushed into hospital with appendicitis, so I had an emergency operation, they removed my appendix, so it's taken a while to recover. And then two weeks ago we went away to the Dominican Republic. We had an amazing time, we went to Punta Cana. I vlogged the whole holiday, so if you wanna check that out, I'll link it below. Um, and there's just been so much going on, I haven't had a chance to film, so I'm really sorry and I'll try and get a video uploaded every week from now on. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I got this makeup look. Um, it's quite a dramatic eye and simple lip. Um, and I'm also going to be showing you my new hair extensions. These are the Lilac Ombre Hair Extensions by Bell and Me. So if you want to know how I got this look, just keep watching. Hi guys, so just a few things before we start. I know I'm going to get questions about this. Um, my black eyes. No, I haven't been punched. Um, I had my appendix out six weeks ago. And when I woke up, I had two black eyes. Um, and for some reason, they're just not going away. If anyone knows what that is, please comment below and let me know, because I haven't got a clue. And it's starting to worry me a bit now. But that's why they're there, so just ignore that. And please excuse this mess on my hand. <laughs> I did have a henna done whilst I was away. And it's rubbing off. So, I'm starting by priming my face as usual. I've already moisturised my skin. I'm using the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. I've seen so many people raving about this online so I have to give it a go and it is amazing. So I'm just taking a little bit and what this is doing is giving you an even complexion and it's just going to smooth out your skin ready for your foundation just make sure you get it on your eyes on your eyes just make sure you put that around the eyes as well okay i'm going to start with the eyes so i'm going to zoom you in and i'll try and explain everything in detail so i'm filling in my brows using the dip brow pomade in ebony by abh I'm gonna get a full eyebrow routine up for you guys really soon. Imagine if I left them like this. Okay, then I'm just going in with my brow bar to go and using the darker shade. And this is just a powder form, which I feel sets the pomade in place. Come through those. And then blend to the front of the brow. And then I'm taking my L'Oreal Clear Brow Gel. Then I'm taking some concealer and I'm just dotting that underneath the brow. I'm taking my MAC to find the brush and defining the brow. I'm using my pressed eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and this is in Morocco. So 
So I'm taking another pigment by Makeup Geek for the cut crease. This is like a jet black colour. So this is actually an eyebrow brush, but I'm going to use it for the cut crease. So pick a little bit of that up on your brush. What you want to do then is pinch the brush with your fingers so you get a really thin line. And all you're doing is following that crease. Once you've got your shape, start blending that up. I'm then taking my pencil brush by Mac and I'm picking up this mauve colour. This deep mauve colour from the Carly Bible palette which is here with that line. Now I'm picking up the second mauve colour from the Carly Bible palette. Again, the white colour from the Carly Bible palette, so the lightest colour of all. And I'm just gently pressing that on the lid. Being really careful not to get it on the black. I'm using my Maybelline Master Ink Matte Liquid Liner. I'm just going to put a layer of mascara on the top before I apply my falsies. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic. I'm just applying my lashes with the tweezers and as always I'm using Iconic by House of Lashes. I'm now going in with my foundation and I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear in NC40. Oh my gosh, I'm not kidding you. I have found the best concealer ever. This is just the best formula and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Which just looks like this. This is a dupe for the NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard. 
but I honestly prefer this one. This is a better formula, it lasts longer, it goes on really smooth, it's really good coverage. So if you're looking for a good concealer, try this one. Just look at that. My black eyes have gone. I'm just using, as always, my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in, in Beautiful Bronze. I'm then using my shade and light palette. Then I'm taking MAC Global Glow just to bronze up my face. This is amazing for summertime. Now I'm taking MAC Soft and Gentle and a fan brush. So, soft and gentle. Just quickly take um, a little bit of MAC Peaches to warm up the face and for the eyes I'm taking my small detailer brush I'm picking up some soft and gentle on that brush and I'm just using it in the corner I'm also taking that underneath the brow bone. I'm going back in with the black pigment from Makeup Geek. And I'm taking that underneath the eye. I'm going to angle the brush here. And then taking my big eyes liner in black. And then going back in with my L'Oreal telescopic mascara. We go to the top lashes and the bottom. And just to finish off this look, I'm taking my lip liner in Will by MAC. And I'm just taking some fixed dust. Now for the hair. I got this in the post. I'm so excited to show you the colour. So these are the Bellamy Ombre extensions. I don't really use hair extensions anymore because my hair has grown quite a bit. 
but now and again I like to change the colour up, you know how it is. So the first thing you get is a little hanger. So I've got the case as well, which I bought previously. So you can attach the case to these, hang them up, put the extensions in and zip the case up so they're nice and neat and safe. Bellamy hair extensions are hand processed using high quality, protein rich, 100% Rami human hair. So I've used Bellamy in the past and they're amazing. What you also get in this cute little packaging, a set of mini hair straighteners and I took these abroad with me to Dominican Republic and they were so amazing. Look how cute they are. That's the only thing, it comes with an American plug. It also comes with a little case. Oh, I've already got one of these. This is handy. So you can unzip this, put your hair extensions in and then you attach the hanger in the top and hang them up. So I got the ombre extensions in lilac, that's how they look, it's so pretty. I've also got the Kylie hair couture in teal ombre so I'll do a tutorial on that as well if you'd like to see that. So they come with two full wets, so I'm just going to brush these out. Just take any clip, section your hair off, so there's four clips. So one, two, three, four. So I'm just going to put one more in for the purpose of this video. Um, so I'll just use this two piece. Just lift up any area. you where you put the where you put the clips. What I like to do then is take my teasing brush you can straighten the hair if you like because they are real human hair. I'm not going to today my hair is pretty straight and so are the extensions. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon.